assalamu alaikum welcome to civil ideas so today we'll discuss about the soil mechanics and some of the basic terms and uh, used in soil mechanics and the index properties specific gravities and all these terms we will discuss in this video so let's start so soil mechanics uh, the basic definition of soil mechanics is uh, soil mechanics is the law uh, laws of uh, application of the laws of mechanics to the engineering problems so this that engineering problems deals with the soils and the soil is of uh, different types and these are uh, maybe uh, consolidated unconsolidated soil and sediments and these are further divided like uh, clays silt and coarse grain uh, soil gravels all these fun uh, soil and coarse grain soils and these soils are further uh, they are uh, received from the disintegration of the parent rocks and uh, it may be by a mechanical or chemical disintegration of rocks uh, which is received from the parent rocks uh, the soils so all these laws of the mechanics which is applied uh, to the soils uh, we will study it in the soil mechanics so uh, soils is generally uh, consist of the uh, uh, preface uh, normally of uh, soil and water and this is the three phase of the soil soil solids water and air and this is the two phase you can say uh, on the water and solids so this is a saturated soil and this is a partially saturated soil because air is included in it and here is the uh, air and solid so this is a dry soil only air is present uh, not water so and the pores of the soil is also uh, filled with the air here so that's why it's a dry soil otherwise if the pores are filled with the water then it will be a saturated soil and uh, this is the ideal soil uh, which is no air and but it is uh, not uh, practically not possible to uh, remove all to all the air from the wards so this is the an ideal case and this is the generally the soil consists of uh, this uh, three uh, types of and you know soil uh, air water and solids and so that's why we will study all the uh, mechanics of the, uh, the soil in this soil mechanics uh, uh, chapter and this is the three phase you can see this is a two phase this is a two phase of dry soil this is a saturated soil this is a three phase of uh, soil this is the actual soil so this is the soil solids and and these voids are filled with maybe of uh, soil uh, air or water so generally soil consists of these types of materials so that's why we have to uh, study each and every properties in soil mechanics and so first we will sorry i have to okay so this is the uh, general uh, first we will discuss the general parameters used in soil mechanics so we air present volume of air uh, we total volume of, or total volume of the soil so we have not written here but i can write this is the total volume of uh, soil volume of soil mass okay and this is the uh, volume uh, volume of water Oh, you have to take it and this is the volume of water this is the volume of solids vs vv volume of voids we will use all these and this ended properties that's why i write it at here so that you can find that what is vv what is vs all these parameters and w is the weight of soil mass w w as the weight of uh, soil uh, water content and this is the uh, weight of soil solids okay soil solids mean that we uh, don't consider the uh, uh, voids and it only the soil solids and the total weight of soil mass we will consider the voids all these things here i write uh, weight of soil mass as uh, weight of soil solids plus weight of water so you have to consider both these like i have discussed it here so total uh, w as you can consider the voids all these things and and only you have to consider the soil solids then you have to uh, uh, consider the uh, w only ws 
so this is the difference between uh, and volume of voids volume of voids will be uh, volume of air plus water because the uh, uh, voids are filled uh, maybe of water and air so that's why we have to plus these both uh, parameters so that it becomes a uh, volume of voids and these are the basic uh, parameters now we will use it in the here in the index properties so this is the basic so this is the water content water content uh, represented by w and it is the what is ww here i write ww as the uh, weight of water content so uh, this is the weight of water content i will show you here this is the weight of water content and uh, divided by the uh, weight of solids here i will write this is the weight of solids okay so water content uh, and void ratio uh, weight of uh, volume of voids to the volume of solids so only you have to consider the volume of voids divided by the volume of solids uh, this is the void ratio uh, represented by e and porosity represented by uh, this symbol uh, eta and uh, this is the volume of voids divided by the total volume of uh, soil mass so the basic difference between these two is the void ratio as the uh, volume of voids to the vol uh, volume of soil solids and porosity volume of voids to the uh, volume total volume of oil so this is the basic difference between uh, volume uh, void ratio and porosity and the fourth one is degree of saturation uh, you know, denoted by sr and uh, it is the volume of water to the volume of voids now all the volume present in the soil so how much it is filled with uh, water so this is the degree of saturation okay and the air content air content is volume of air to the uh, volume of voids how much air how much uh, uh, voids are filled with air so this is the air content and percentage of air voids uh, this is represented by the uh, eta as uh, air voids so this is the volume of air uh, uh, to the total volume of uh, soil mass so the basic difference between these two is this air content as uh, volume of air to the volume of voids only uh, you have to consider the volume of voids uh, with respect to the uh, volume of air volume of air with respect to the volume of voids and percentage of air voids you have to consider the uh, volume of air with respect to the total mass so this is the basic difference between they they can make a uh, relation so you can identify this can remember it easily so the basic difference between void ratio and porosity is volume total volume of voids to the uh, volume of soil solids and porosity volume of voids to the uh, total volume and an air content volume of air to the uh, volume of voids to the and percentage volume of air to the total volume so this is the index properties uh, generally used in soil mechanics and generally asked in interviews and in exams so that's why you have to remember these properties and uh, the second one this is again the general parameters i have added some extra here uh, so the volume of air is the volume of solids so this is the weight of fully saturated soil uh, wsat weight of fully saturated soil when all the words of the soil are filled with uh, uh, water so this is called the fully saturated soil and a uh, volume of submerged uh, weight of soil here i will write so uh, submerged there Submerged density, so submerged weight of uh, water, uh, soil solids, so uh, weight of fully saturated soil to the plus weight of water. So this is the submerged weight. And now we'll discuss it here. And this is again a weight of soil mass is again um, so soil mass is uh, weight of soil solids to the water. And volume of voids, volume of voids may be filled with water and air. So both you have to plus these both quantities. And now. Uh, the densities so densities here the first this is the bulk density or bulk unit weight of soil mass so you have to know about the soil mass or soil solids soil mass mean this whole soil mass in which we consider the uh, voids and uh, the solids but in soil solids we only consider the soil solids not the voids so um, bulk density you have to consider soil mass so this is the uh, represented by a gamma so i write it here this is a gamma but i write it uh, represented with the r so this is uh, the uh, w divided by v what is w so w is the here you can see weight of soil mass the total soil mass to the total volume of uh, 
that soil mass. This is the total weight of soil mass and this is the total volume of soil mass. So this is the bulk density and the dry density, uh, dry into unit weight and uh, gamma D. So this is the uh, weight of soil solids to the total volume. So the basic difference between these two is this is the total volume uh, weight divided by the total volume but and the dry density you have to consider only the soil solids and so the weight of soil solids to the uh, volume of voids total volume of uh, total volume of the soil mass so and the third one is the uh, so this is the density so it is mistaking the spelling so the density of solids uh, is so again the, so density of solids is uh, gamma s so this is the uh, what is ws ws is here can see this is the weight of the solids weight of the solids to the uh, volume of the solids so this is the density of solids so we have only considered the uh, solids here and the density of solids only the volume and uh, but in the dry density we have considered the uh, volume uh, weight of solids to the total volume but here we will consider the volume of only solids so this is the difference between these two and the fourth one is the saturated density of soil mass so saturated density is a gamma set as so this is the uh, saturated you can see here beta fully saturated soil fully saturated soil means that all the pores awards are filled with water so this is called the uh, fully saturated soil to the total volume total volume and fully saturated water with respect to total volume so this is the saturated density and submerged density of soil mass and this is the uh, submerged weight uh, into the uh, uh, volume total volume this is the saturated soil and saturated soil and this is a submerged weight of soil mass so this is the basic uh, difference between these two now we will move to the specific gravity specific gravities these are the two types specific gravity of soil solids so this is represented by g and uh, gamma then this is the uh, density of soil solids with respect to the density of water so the density of soil solids you have to find it from you have to find the density of soil solids from the uh, here you can see this is the density of solids to the density of water and density of water is generally uh, 1000 kg per cubic meters this is the uh, basic uh, general non for water so uh, specific gravity is generally uh, determined uh, with respect to water so that's why and this is the specific gravity of soil solids so they you have to consider only the soil solids but bulk ma bulk or mass specific gravity of soil of soil soil solids is the uh, density uh, of uh, with respect to the density of water so you have to consider uh, these things okay so this is the ratio of the uh, unit weight of the soil mass this is the total uh, uh, soil mass weight of the total soil unit weight of total soil mass to the weight of the water okay. here you have to consider only the soil solids so this is the basic difference between these two so the male i think it's finished okay so if you have any question regarding this topic you can comment um, i will answer it thank you see you in the next video